right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of our Let's Play Minecraft 1.19 Survival with me, the Slappy One. Glad to have you here. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've really, between takes, just done a lot of gathering of wood um, and farming. So we have tons of food. Um, and when I say we have tons of food, I mean we have stacks on stacks of baked potatoes. We have stacks of beetroot. We have stacks of bread. We are looking very good in the food department, which is a very good thing solidifying. Um, we also got our enchanting table set up. Uh, so this is ready to go. Um, I have confirmed it is working at a level 30 enchant. So now the trick to it is we've got to get our gear, uh, which means that two things can happen here. One, uh, we need to go down. We need to go mining for diamonds. Two, we need to start building some new... We, we need to add some stuff. Um, now what I want to do here, because the enchanting table is in the open, I want to build around this. Um, and in order to do so, these trees can go away. Um, I'll replant them. Don't worry, guys. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to build up around kind of in this area. And I want to make it um, a little bit of like a pseudo library to, to kind of go around it. Now, I know that's very cliche, but I mean, it works with the enchanting table because of the way that books work. So that is what I really want to do with it. <clears throat> Now I'm looking into some uh, some options and designs. I've got a creative world I'm working on uh, that I'm I'm not happy with yet. But also for me to make a library, I need to have a lot of books. Well, in order to have a lot of books, I need a lot of leather. And in order to get a lot of leather, well, there's two things that you can do at least with the data packs that I have from Vanilla Tweaks. Way number one is your traditional get a bunch of cows, breed them up again and again and again. Oh, yeah, and I also got bored, so I started farming uh, glow squids because they kept spawning. Um, so I farmed enough glow squid ink to get uh, lit item frames because I, I like the look of it. Um, we've also expanded our storage, guys. So we have a little bit for all of our stones, our woods, uh, our metals, our diggables, uh, our nether stuff, um, and then all of our food. So we have tons of paper and sugar cane. We have tons of baked potatoes. I, I told you guys... We, we now have food. So, uh, with that, and yes, this did take a bunch of leather, which I know could have gone to books, but I, I thought it was a better investment early on. So, what we're do gonna do is I'm gonna grab these, and then I'm gonna make these, and then we can make 11 more books, which is all fine and dandy, but 11 books is not going to be enough for what I need to make a library, especially with the number of bookshelves. So I'm just gonna put these back up in there for the time being. Um, I'm still using this as a little bit of a dump chest area, but most everything from here has been cleared out from what we've done before, so there is that. So that's what's gonna happen here, uh, but I, I have not found a design that I'm happy with yet on this. So once we have that, then I'll work on this. So that's kind of an on-hold project or an on-hold idea. Um, just because nothing has really come to me for the area. And as I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and just replant our four acacia saplings, get those down. Um, but all in all, guys, the farms work great. We're just missing carrots, and I'm waiting on a zombie to drop me that or for me to find it somewhere in like a minecart or down in the nether. Uh, so the option two that we can do, we can go uh, nether hunting. We did do that a little bit. I was going to do some footage cuts, but there really wasn't anything there. We did die once in the nether um, already, which was very unfortunate. I lost a little bit of toolage, but um, so it is what it is, uh, at least with that. We'll go into the nether again at a later point, but I need better gear. Uh, so what's going to happen? Well, I need... Um, some red tinted wood. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a, a nearby mangrove swamp, at least that I've seen um, or been able to discover. So I can't get the, the color tint from mangrove, which would be kind of perfect for what I want to do. But we can still use the orange shape of acacia because I want to go ahead and build an animal barn. Um, and I want to specifically do one with the intent of having multiple animals housed within it and let that kind of be the breeding area. Uh, now, some folks would probably be like, well, Slappy, just just make a, a redstone thing. I could. I, I could make a little contraption to be an auto breeder, auto harvester, collector. I could do that. But that, it, it, it's animal harvesting, guys. 
it doesn't need to have perfect automation to it. And I'm not a guy about perfect automation. This isn't the world for that. This isn't a server for that. You know, if it was a server for like economy, maybe I would do something like that. But here, no, I, I really don't need to. Um, or at least I don't feel like I need to. So we're going to take our acacia. We're going to replant some more. I do have some up on the hill I need to actually go get harvested up. So that will happen uh, sooner rather than later. But what I want to do is use basically a bunch of acacia logs. And I want to clear right back through here. Uh, and I want to build a barn. And I want to build a decently sized barn at that. Uh, and I want the red tint because, well... Barns traditionally have a red red texture to them, uh, but I want this to have almost more of a faded look. So I'm going to use a combination of acacia logs, acacia planks, and then I'll probably mix in some similar colorings around that point. Uh, but that's going to require that I harvest a good chunk of acacia because this does need to be a bigger barn. And I see him. Get him out of here. Uh, in order for this to happen. Why have these leaves not decayed yet? Because there's one piece of jungle wood sitting in there, or acacia wood sitting in there. All right, so we have that. We have plan. I apparently missed a piece of wood right there. Oh, two pieces. Beautiful. From when I harvested this area earlier, because you can see birch and acacia come jumping out. Um, all right, so that's going to be the plan. What I'm going to do, guys, we're going to grab a re bunch of resources and we're gonna start we're, we're gonna start a general frame first for this building and then we'll start filling it in from there so i'm gonna get this gathered uh and then i will see you guys back here in just a moment all right and we're back so i said i was gonna go for this back area here but looking at this area the as the saying goes you need to work harder not smarter or work smarter not harder um and i looked and i realized that this area right here is actually a very perfect contender for a giant barn that I'm going to put my animals in. So I'm slowly working a, a little bit away in the terrain here, opening up some flat area uh, so that way we can ultimately make, well, what's going to be a two-sided barn, I think is what I'm going to do. Uh, so I want to start here, and then I want the other pillar to be right about here, I think. Um, Actually, no. We're going to take some of this away. So I'm going to walk you guys a little bit through my kind of how I process building. Uh, now, by no means is this like perfect standard, but it's just a start. I'm just going to start with a frame uh, for the time being. So I know what line I want, and I want to just do a general uh, rectangular shape for everything to start and the reason i want to do a rectangular shape is because it's basically going to be four pillars that arch together um and we're going to add our detail in the arching um now with this as well i'm actually going to do one outside because uh or one outside of what i'm going to do because i'm also going to basically have an exterior frame and then the interior wall is going to be more like a panel so this is going to be um it'll add a little bit of depth to the to the build i think is what i'm going to try to do here so we're going to do that, do that. So we're just going to... I'm realizing I am off by a little bit with this guy, so I'm going to cut and remove these logs here. Let's see, that's a one, two, three, four, five interior. I actually like that right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that down. And I'm eventually, actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Um, I also don't like my buildings to be directly up against dirt. So what I'm going to do is we'll just uh, trim this guy away. And then I'll eventually like change some of the landscape around it. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of this tree just because it's going to be in my way. I'm going to get rid of this tree because it'll be in the way. There we go. It adds a little bit of pocket space, but yeah, I got plenty for the time being. All right, so we have that. So this is going to be essentially one front door. 
So it's essentially five and five. Um, now, I'm not going to do that on this back end, uh, though I very well could um, to have a two-sided barn. But I think for the purposes of what we're looking to do, it would be very much irrelevant. As I see all of the zombies hit the daytime over there and uh, they're starting to cook. I will take this rotten flesh so I can run that over later and get that uh, cooking into some leather. All right, now this barn is going to be big. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to do an interior doorway here uh, with this. Now, what I'm also going to do is, at least for the exterior, like, logs, um, or not the exterior logs, excuse me. What I want to do for these is I want logs to be here. And then for the frame stuff, I want it to be stripped. So it's going to look something like this. It's going to give it that coloring that I'm looking for. There we go. Now, as far as the strip logs, I'm going to just turn you guys into planks for the time being. But that's basically how it's going to look. So we're going to have these form as pillars, well, frame. Uh, and then we're going to use this as the main color for, like, the, the panels, I guess, is the way to put it. Um, so that's going to be that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys built up here. Um, now, I do want to do a second level barn as well, uh, which would kind of be like the pseudo hayloft. Um, and I'll also probably put something up there. I don't know. Uh, but what I need to do from here is I need to actually build myself a bit of a building block. But we're just going to do some simple... We'll just do a simple archway like this. Um, and that way, it's going to leave openness to everything else that happens inside the barn. Uh, now, what we'll do in the inside is I'm just going to have a bunch of fences. It's going to wall off into several main sections. But that's kind of where I want to go with, with this. Uh, now, as far as second level, I'm going to mark that off with my planks uh, for the time being. And this is so I can tell myself how far I need to go. Um, so this will be equivalent with the level. So we're going to one, two, three, four, and then five for the roof level. I'm going to take a little bit of damage. That'll be okay. One, two, three, four, five. Eh. All right. So this is going to be how tall the barn is going to be. Now, I'm still going to bring the roof together. Um, I do want to add some curvature to the roof, so we're going to work on that. But that's generally how this barn is going to look. It's going to be a it's going to be a bigger building. Um, there will be a set of stairs in, here in the middle towards the back, and that will actually open up into the second level loft. Um, so I can actually go ahead and fill that in. Um, so essentially, you can be able to go through, go up, come back, and everything be accessible where you need to. And then I'll have some windows throughout this. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to get to work on a little bit of the materials for this. I'm also going to build some scaffolding because I'm tired of taking fall damage. And plus, this is actually getting pretty high. Um, so scaffolding will be a little bit easier. So I'm going to go see what I've got for string as well as bamboo. I'm going to see what scaffolding I'm going to be able to make. Uh, so I'm going to change up a few of the materials, and we're going to get going on the next section here in just a moment. All right, and we're back. So I got some scaffolding. Uh, managed to make uh, 30 pieces of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm trying to match a little bit of the detail on the archway here, and I think I got it right. Yep, I did. Perfect. So we're going to hop up here. We're 
We're just gonna do every other one for a little bit. I'll tell you what, we're gonna just do one more. Then I'm actually gonna carry this across. And that's gonna be the shape of the arch for our building. Uh, now the beauty of this is I get to carry all of this across now, but it's gonna have that general arch shape to it. Um, and I think it's gonna actually end up looking pretty good uh, with everything. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna fill in a support log here. Um, and what this support log is going to do is just be the front brace for everything. Now I know physics in Minecraft isn't exactly, actually, no, I don't like that position. Um, I don't like that. I did not like that location at all. Ow. So instead, what I think I'm gonna do is that we're actually gonna go one up and I'm gonna have it run across. Yeah, that's actually gonna look a little bit better, at least in terms of just thinking from a framing perspective of how I want to frame this. That'll work out a lot better. And this will allow me to fill this in too. So we'll take you. I'm just gonna make a handful of planks real quick. Um, so essentially what's gonna happen is for the interior, no, that's not what I wanted to place. Uh, you pay attention to what, what blocks you're choosing, guys. So, yeah, the scaffolding can come down. Um, so what we're going to do here is everything for this interior is going to go down to ground level. And this will be the interior palette. So uh, when it comes to, and this will show you guys some of the depth that I'm wanting to work with, with this as well. And it comes out it's going to have something to an effect like this um, now i'm realizing that i'm off centered a little bit so i'm going to change the centering of this door so this is one two three four five and this is three uh, but that's the general premise of what we're going to do um, so i'm actually going to shift all of this over just a tad and go from there um, I'm going to do the same with all of this. I'm going to bring this across. I'm trying to do it as efficiently as possible, but sometimes you just can't. That is okay. All right, so now I just got to repeat the thing here, and this is why I kept that strip log for this one. So I'm going to put you there, you there. Well, that doesn't look anything like what I wanted to do originally. Um... That's the direction I wanted to go. We'll trim that guy out. That, I think, is going to be a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. So now that puts four in between, four in between. All right, so that centers it up. That was, <laughs> that was going to be very, very annoying if it was not a uh, complete true center. I'm also going to go ahead and just take these guys out. And I'm going to make them across just to kind of flow with the grain. Uh, for this guy, I'm also going to do the same. Um, and this is just a little bit of a detail aspect of like showing the logs kind of sitting across each other, um, working in kind of that unison, as it were. Uh, but this is kind of the effect we're going for with the front door, um, the front area. So we'll take my planks 
fill that guy in right there. And that's really what I'm wanting to look for is something to this extent. Uh, now with that as well, we're also going to be cutting out a little bit of this area right here and we're going to turn it into uh, some glass so that way there's actually like a view behind things. Uh, now I know most like barns have smaller slits, but you know, our barn doesn't have to be perfectly into what a barn is. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of glass painting here uh, just to give a bit of an effect and then I think what I will do um, is we're gonna add a couple of steps as well just to add some layers to the depth in and of itself. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much detail I wanna add to this, but we're gonna just add a little bit as we go. But that's the general premise of what I am thinking here uh, with all of that. Now, the fun part comes in next of what I'm gonna do. I have kind of the general idea for my front. Uh, now I need to carry it and start working on the rest of the frame. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to carry this one log across because this is going to be the the midway point log, I guess, is the best way to put it. It's going to look something like that. Um, now, I'm also going to get all of my scaffolding. And we're going to carry this guy up to there for the time being. We have a creeper here. He gone. Nighttime fights are always going to happen. I should sleep in the bed, but I also need to do things. So. There we go. Get rid of those guys. We got a skeleton. We're going to take care of him real quick. Like. Use the shield to block. And then we're going to go back to putting our frame up because we need to work through the night to make all this happen. Plus, I don't mind fighting the zombies. It gives me more uh, rotten flesh, which allows me to, well, make more things. Plus, small chance these guys drop carrots, which is also something I sorely need. I don't get any carrots from this, which is making me sad. But it is what it is. So you guys kind of see what the point of what we're working on here. Not how I wanted that to go. But there we go. That gets that. And then we're just going to carry this log right across. And that way we have a full frame to all of this. Now, I'm going to get a little bit more of this worked in. You guys can see where I'm going with everything. So uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to work on getting the rest of this framed out, uh, get my across logs going uh, for the main section, and then uh, figure out a couple more details. So I'm going to hit a couple of those real quick, and then I will be back uh, here in just a moment for us to work on the panels. <clears throat> All right, and we are back, guys. So, uh, did a little bit of work, got the second layer floor together, got a bit of the walls up, uh, even got the staircase up to second level. So this barn is coming together quite nicely, and I'm very impressed with it. The only downside is I'm almost out of spruce, uh, which means that I need to go up here and uh, have a little bit of fun clearing the mountaintop of the spruce trees that are here. That's not going to be too much trouble, but I did want to give you guys at least the update. Ow. That, you know, we're, we're making good progress. So the barn is coming together. Everything is looking right and proper. I do need to get more spruce wood, so we're going to get that going. Uh, I am also going to get a little bit of a tree farm running, so I'm going to probably clear down this area and use it just to farm 
trees and wood because I'm realizing very quickly that if I want to take on projects like this, especially if they're wood based, well, we're going to need a lot more, but you guys can see how well things are coming together. So I'm very pleased with the, pro uh, the process and the, the progress uh, that has happened here. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to start getting some wood on the inside, um, particularly looking towards the fencing. Um, I think for sake of brevity, uh, or not brevity, um, of consistency, uh, I think I'm probably going to use acacia uh, fence gates for it, um, since that's what I have the most of, uh, and it will stay within the color scheme. But all in all, guys, this is actually turning out pretty well. Um, one final thing I do want to do is I do want to strip out the main support log to be consistent with what I have going on in the bottom. Uh, now, this is just a small detail point, but this is also a critical one because this helps set the color scheme uh, for pretty much the entirety. Uh, now, yes, all of the poles going up, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, those are going to stay with their bark on. Um, that is to add a bit of texture uh, as well as another layer of color uh, behind everything within the palette. So this is actually looking really, really good. Uh, I'm liking where this is at. The archway for the door is going to stay with it, and then these will stay with as well. Um, these two... Uh, the cross beams, those are going to end up probably getting stripped out as well, I think. Uh, I will decide on that in a little bit as I continue to build this out. Um, but all in all, guys, this is kind of what we're going for. So as we go up here, we can actually take a bigger look of... It is a bigger building, yes, but at the same time, it is very, very much uh, going to be a barn. We're going to be getting animals in it. Uh, I do have a couple of cows and sheep just on the other side, so we're going to get the fences up, get them lured in. Uh, get the rest of this punched in so you guys can see kind of how this is going. Uh, the finished product of this will be in the next video. Uh, and I mean, it's just going to be the reveal of things. So if you like what you're seeing, you like what you're, what you're experiencing here, absolutely, guys, smack that subscription button. It is free to you, supports me, helps me out a lot um, as we continue to grow in this journey. Uh, keep that notification bell on so that way you can know when... Uh, new videos do go live. Um, also, make sure to check out things on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash the slappy one. Um, we, do day, or we do streams uh, quite frequently. Uh, I do a variety of games over there, uh, Minecraft included, um, but this particular world typically won't be on stream. I might stream it soon. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.